God damn, man, it has been a minute. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. We are here on X Defiant. Ubisoft San Francisco put together another server test session for us players to embark on for X Defiant so we could address any improvements that have been made to the game since the last time we played it, or if there are any other issues that do need to be addressed and polished prior to its inevitable launch. I haven't played X Defiant in a very, very long time, so it is going to feel weird to be playing this game once again, but I am looking forward to getting back into it and being reminded of just how fun it was in its own right. But let's not waste any more time and get right into it. I guess we'll go into the practice zone so we could familiarize ourselves with how the game feels. I really like how the factions in this game are a nod to other Ubisoft franchises. Like for example, Echelon is a nod to Splinter Cell, DeadSec is a nod to Watch Dogs, which is my personal favorite franchise, The Cleaners, which is a nod to The Division, and Libertad, which is a nod to the Far Cry series, more specifically Far Cry 6. Alright, we'll go into the firing range. Come on in and shoot some things. Try some loadouts. Two can see multiple homicide. How fun! Okay. Seems seems to be pretty good, although I could make some changes to my weapon loadout. Uh, we'll go into the assault course, see how this will fare. The assault course awaits. Are you sure you're checked out on this? Enjoy this assault on familiar intellectual properties. Is that Bagley? Could have sworn that's Bagley from Watch Dogs Legion. I could be wrong. Jesus Christ, my accuracy is very, very bad. But that's only because I just started playing this game, so I'm trying to get used to it. I'm trying to get used to how this game feels. You sure show those inanimate objects? Oh man, I didn't mean to do that again. Enjoy oh well. This on familiar intellectual properties. Jesus Christ. You sure show those inanimate objects? So I got all those targets, but I was able to complete that three seconds faster. I mean, I guess that's an improvement. Now for anybody that doesn't know what X Defiant is, this is an upcoming first person shooter that is being worked on by the people over at Ubisoft San Francisco who used to work on the Call of Duty franchise in the past and on top of that they're also being consulted by other professional players to improve upon its competitive aspect. And not just its competitive aspect but other aspects in regards to casual play as well. Also, could we just take a moment to appreciate the detailed weapon stats that we have right here? Like, this is so, so damn good. It is something that I wish we had over on Modern Warfare 3, but at the same time, we gotta work with what we have. Although, I am aware that we do have this kind of detailed weapon stats over on COD Mobile. Alright, let's jump into a game. We got Unranked. We got Domination, Hotshot, Occupy, Escort, and Zone Control. Zone Control, attack or defend the capture zone. So this is kind of like Drop Zone. Escort, escort a payload to a delivery point as attackers or prevent the opponents from doing so as defenders. So this is pretty much Safeguard, I would presume, from Black Ops 3. I could be wrong. Occupy, take and control a single capture zone that changes location during the match. 
pretty much hard point. Hotshot, collect bounties from fallen enemies. The player with the most becomes the hotshot. Better, faster, more deadly. And the classic domination, take and hold the three capture zones to earn more points than the opposing team. Right, I guess we'll do domination, occupy, and zone control. Let's get it. So for anybody that is curious if whether or not X Defiant does have skill-based matchmaking, it does not. You only get skill-based matchmaking when you're playing in ranked play. But in regards to casual play, the only kind of matchmaking that matters is your connection. I do like the fact that we have map voting in this game, although in Modern Warfare 3, we do have map voting, but you also don't have the option to pick a random option. So this is domination on May Day. All right. I guess we'll go with Sebastian, and we'll rock the ACR. I hope this build is better than what I previously had. This situation calls for quick thinking and a great deal of shooting. Quite the top shelf kill streak you're having right now. <laughs> that is Bagley. Three, two, one. Secure the capture zones and make sure you keep the neighborhood kids off the zone lawns. Team taking capture zone C. Three dispatched. For anybody that is curious, I am playing this game on PC. I would have played on console, but since I've mainly been playing this game on PC all this time, I figured I'd just keep it going. Damn, this dude almost meleeed me. Ah, oh, man, I could have got him right there. I was about to go off for a moment. Alright, got him. Oh, shoot, they came from behind. I am curious as to whether or not any progress you make on this game will transfer over to the full game when it launches. Oh boy. Gotcha. I remember when Modern Warfare 2 was going through its life cycle, so many people were begging for this game to launch, even though it was nowhere near ready for it to launch. Alright. I'm not gonna lie, dude, that was a pretty good game. I really enjoyed that. Let's see, scoreboard? I went 26 to 20. Wow. Not too shabby for my first match on. I remember when so many people wanted X Defiant to release already, especially when Modern Warfare 2 was just so down bad, but we didn't take into account at the time that X Defiant was nowhere near ready for it to launch because if it did, there would have been a bunch of server issues, there would have been a bunch of bugs, glitches that would have had to get patched for months on end and then we would have been disappointed as to how the game is being managed and we would have been getting mad at the devs for releasing the game in such an unpolished state. Phantom. I might be in the minority when I say this, but I'm honestly glad X Defiant got delayed as many times as it has so far because back then when we were still playing it during the life cycle of Modern Warfare 2, the game just was not ready for it to be launched because of how many issues it had and needed to be ironed out. And sure, some people will make the argument that the game should have launched when it was still popping off, but at the same time it's like, is it really worth doing so knowing that the game is launching in an unpolished state? Therefore, we would have been getting mad at the developers for releasing the game in said state. Oh man. For me personally, I'm glad that X Defiance still has yet to even launch worldwide because at the end of the day, like, I want this game to be as polished as it can be. And on top of that, I also want to be able to have a good alternative to Call of Duty. Oh. <laughs> okay, we both killed each other with a nade. I guess you could say we traded nades.
I'm not sure why you can't go prone on this game. Maybe I might be wrong, but I just don't understand why you cannot prone on this game. Oh man, that was that was pretty competitive, I will say. I went 20 to 22. I mean, that was to be expected since some of the players were better than me. But yeah, guys, that was X Defiant. I'm so glad that we have another session that we can embark on so we could finally play this game again and just see how it's holding up currently. For me personally, it does feel so good to be back on this game and playing it again. I am going to try to make the most of this and play this as much as possible. For anybody that does want to play X Defiant, if you're playing on PC, you got to make sure that you have the Ubisoft Connect Launcher downloaded onto your computer. And then once you have that done, you look up X Defiant, download the patches and the session as a whole, and then once you do so, boot up the game and you're good to go. And for those who are playing on console, whether it be on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S or X, if you do want to go and download X Defiant, just go to the store or marketplace, download X Defiant, let the patches download and install onto your console, boot up the game, and you're good to go. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you're more than welcome to drop a like on it. And if you enjoy this type of content, you're more than welcome to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification. But until then, thank you all so much for watching. It's been your boy Discreet, and I'll catch you in the next video.